All right, this one is going out to John, uh, who asks, what are my three best ways or most significant ways to improve insulin sensitivity? Um, well, the first one is to get out of a calorie surplus if you have been chronically overfeeding. So when we're looking at somebody that has just been abusing food, um, well, then the first thing to do is you need to stop overfeeding those cells because part of insulin resistance is when we have been overfeeding those cells. Our cells basically say we have enough and then therefore it has nothing to do with insulin. It has to do with they just can't take any more. The second would be to actually stimulate AMPK through training, right? So we have a huge capacity to be able to uh, increase the amount of glucose that we can uptake. And technically, this is what we would call insulin dependent or independent, sorry, uh, glucose uptake, meaning that when we do it from training, we get essentially the same effect of insulin without needing the insulin, but by doing so, therefore, we need to make less insulin, which allows a lot of other tissues then to not be getting force fed or uh, allows them to reduce the insulin that they're exposed to because we're creating this huge sensitivity for glucose uh, in our muscle tissue. So uh, that's where we're using a metabolic stimulus uh, where we're focusing more so on density rather than like long sets and trashing the muscle with oxidative stress. That's Those are the type of workouts that are really going to bring up AMPK. Um, the next thing uh, after that, I would say is if you're not getting good enough results with those two things, likely you are uh, fighting inflammation. So with inflammation, inflammation basically doesn't interfere with insulin itself, but it interferes with how the cell responds to insulin. So we, we get the symptoms of insulin resistance without actually being resistant to the actual insulin binding to the cell, but to the effect the cell would have in response to that insulin. Now, when we do the training, we kind of skip past that. And so what you'll see is that people can train themselves into being uh, able to get glucose up, but then outside of that, they can't get any glucose in their cells. That's when we have chronic inflammation, we need to reduce that. Uh, if you haven't already reduced the calories, you're gonna need to do that in order to get the inflammation down. It's much harder to get inflammation down uh, in a calorie surplus because of the effect that it has on the mitochondria and, and a whole bunch of biochemical stuff that happens when we are overfeeding the cells. Uh, but if we've got the calories deficit done, if we're looking specific uh, in terms of you know improving glucose tolerance and insulin sensitivity, I really like to use something called SCRMs, which are selective kinase receptor modulators. Uh, say that 10 times fast. Um, but what they do is they help reorganize the cell's response to insulin. And so they kind of, uh, they basically kind of say, hey, don't listen to that inflammation. Let's get this nutrients in here anyway, and start to re rebalance the cell's response uh, to insulin if it's been shifted in the other direction because of chronic inflammation. Um, and there's a ton of different ways to attack inflammation, but this is the way that you kind of repair the cell. So you're gonna, you likely will need to address something with inflammation, whether that's uh, you need to change the diet, you need to promote detoxification, you need to uh, add in supplementation to resolve uh, inflammation like omega-3s or the, uh, the SPMs from omega-3s. Those are all good things, but your inflammation approach is gonna vary from person to person. Um, I will use things like high-dose curcumin and boswellia and things like that for short-term uh, acutely to like bring down inflammation that's very high, uh, but that's not a long-term solution because that's blocking blocking inflammation and we don't want to block inflammation because we do need inflammation to get the training response that we're going for. So I'm assuming that everybody that you're working with trains and in that case then you know being on curcumin all the time is going to be counterproductive uh, in terms of their response their anabolic response and actually uh, their 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 increased uh, sensitivity to glucose post-workout all of that stuff can be inhibited if we're overdosing anti-inflammatory nutrients uh, that we might otherwise think are healthy so we want to use those things acutely uh, to kind of like get ourselves in a position to heal but not long term